Okay, guys, so we got the Subaru here. Um, I guess they complained like all the lights on the dash came on. And they said they had a co code for a valve body. I guess they had a dealership. Dealership told me they needed a valve body. Um, let's see what's on here. There we go. So, we got this P1710 torque converter turbine 2 speed sensor fault. And we got some steering angle sensor codes. I don't know why we got those. We got P0700 for the transmission. Let's see. Oh, I can't print from over here. So let's go into our TCM. I want to see if we got uh, if you have any. Oh, look at that. I thought it said two though. Why is one showing? Neutral, it reads turbine speed. If we put it in gear, it says zero. But our, our other one doesn't ever move while we're moving. So the other one, when we're moving, does not move. So we'll have to look these up here. I don't want to get this car too hot. Let's go back. Let's go to trouble codes. Let's see what that was again. There we go. Seventeen ten. So let's, let's let me look that up. Okay guys, so I cut the old sensor off. Here's our old sensor. The wire color is a little different. You can see we got red, green, and then blue on the new one, and the old one is red, purple, green. So, I'm gonna solder this new one on, and then we'll uh, see if it works. Okay guys, so I heat shrinked and soldered these. Um, you can see the center one has to be switched because this one is green, so green gotta go to purple. And then blue gotta go to green. So blue goes to green, green goes to purple. So that should work. So now I'll bolt this down, we'll slide this up and then we'll take it for, we'll uh, fill it up and see if everything works. Okay, it's all back together. New sensor's installed. So I'm gonna put this back up in the car. And we'll put the pan on and fill up with fluid. Okay guys, so I'm driving the car on the left. And our turbine speed too is not reading. It's weird though because it says we're in fourth. But I don't think we're in fourth. Um, I wonder if we got a check engine light now for it. We may have to drop this down. Yeah, turbine speed too. I wonder if it's wired wrong or something. So we're gonna have to drain this fluid out again. <sighs> Maybe I replaced the wrong one. Okay guys, so. I dropped the valve body again. I got uh, another sensor. I can link to this one then. This one looks like it's probably going to be right because it has the right colors and I think this is the way the other sensor was wired. So we have red and then purple and then green where this one was red, 
green and then blue because remember maybe i had to switch these to get it to work i don't know i was just trying to match the colors up so i'm gonna put this one in and we'll see if this fixes it okay guys got the new uh, sensor all up in there got it all connected back together i'm gonna lower it down and we're gonna see if uh, the rpm works okay guys so let's see if this turbine speed goes up No turbine speed. Oh, we lost live data. Let's see, let's go back in here. I don't want to run this line with no fluid in it. Come on. Oh, did my VCI disconnect? Come on. I don't want to put this pan on and fill it back with fluid if we don't have uh just not working oh there we go turbine two look at that 992 so shut this off so at least we had something um now we can put the pan back on and now it should work so it looks like it was just a bad speed sensor uh let me put the pan on we'll fill this with fluid we should be good to go Okay guys, so we uh, checked the transmission fluid, filled it all up. Everything seems to be working. Our turbine speed sensor seems to be working. I'm driving around the shop right now. Can't take it out on the road, I don't have a plate. But we can drive it around out here. Seatbelt on so it stops chiming. But we can hit 20 miles an hour out here, so I would think that uh, the code would set below 20. I think it set before just driving around parking lot. say guys that this is uh that this is a hundred percent working um we'll park this car and we will see i'll have them drive it it needs gas and a plate, I think. I don't think there's a plate on it. No lights, though. Let's go back to our scan tool. Like I said, our turbine speed 2 is working. I think we had zeros on both of them before. So the turbine speed 1, I don't know if it has it or not. But we'll check our trouble codes. No trouble codes. Look at that. Let's go in our ECU. This car takes forever to scan. So we'll just go into our ECU. Not worry about our AC code either. See trouble codes. None. So that's good. We can check to see what our what our AC code was. It could be for like a sunload sensor. So there you go. Hope you guys like it. See you later.